All right, so now let's look at solving one of these simple trig equations. Um, when we have a reciprocal um, function, as well as instead of doing the algebra part as a linear, we're going to add in quadratic. So say I have something like negative 3 cotangent squared of theta plus 2 equals 0. And I want the answer between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. And of course, we're not including 360, but we are including 0. All right. So the square inherently makes this quadratic. That means all skills I know how to solve a quadratic are in play. Factoring, um, square root method, quadratic formula, completing the square, even the rational root theorem, because it is a polynomial. Um, but for the quadratics, um, those are the most common ways. Uh, there's also a Dr. Lowe's method, which is fairly new. It's a little bit over a year old on solving a quadratic. So there's five different ways you can solve a quadratic. And if you forget how to do that, come to my Zoom tutorials because that's more of an Algebra 2, Algebra 1 lesson than a pre-calculus lesson. All right, so my goal is to solve this to get cotangent by itself. So I'm going to subtract 2. I'm going to divide by negative 3. All right. Now, I'm going to take the square root. Every single time you take a square root, you must put the plus or minus. So now I have cotangent of theta equals plus or minus the square root of 2 over 3. And I'm not going to mess with rationalizing the denominator or anything else. The reason why is I have to put the in the calculator anyway. Why make an extra step and possibly make a mistake? Because I could just put square root of 2 divided by 3 and be done with it in the calculator and get an answer. Okay, now, what I need to recognize here. Oh. I need to back up one step. It'll make it easier for y'all to see. So before I take the square root, I'm going to do something. I'm going to get rid of this cotangent. I'm going to show you how I get rid of the cotangent. All right. So here, I'm going to write this as 1 over tangent squared theta because we know that cotangent is basically the reciprocal of tangent, and this equals 2 thirds. Now, what I can do, on, but what I can do on one side, I can do on the other. I can flip both of them, and I can say tangent squared theta equals 3 over 2. Well, if you think of cotangent is x over y, right? That means tangent would have to be y over x. We just flipped it. So now I can take my plus or minus, and I've got tangent theta equals the square root plus or minus of 3 divided by 2. And then from here, I take my arc, and I get theta equals arc tangent of the square root of 3 over 2. Now notice I dropped the minus. Because I'm going to use a reference angle, I don't need to do the plus and the minus like when we're doing it on the unit circle. I'm going to pick the positive one because I know arc tangent is going to be in quadrant 1. That means whatever this answer is, is going to be my reference angle. I don't have to do any other manip manipulation. If I did the minus, then I have to take the absolute value of it. All right. So when I do this, I just plug this into the calculator. I need to be in degree mode because I need a degree. My theta is going to be approximately, where is it at, 50. This time I did three decimal places, 0.769 degrees. All right. So that is my theta, which conveniently, this I'm going to treat as my reference angle phi. Now, now that I have my reference angle, I need to come back here originally and I can look say even right here tangent what quadrant is well right here what quadrant is tangent positive and negative in well that's all four so we need to have quadrant one quadrant two quadrant three and quadrant four in quadrant one my answer is my reference angle, so it's 50.769 degrees. In quadrant 2, we're going to be doing 180 degrees minus my 50.769. When I do that, 
I get 129.231. In quadrant three, I have my 180 degrees plus my 50.769. When I do that, I get 230.769. And then in quadrant four, we're doing 360 degrees minus my 50.769, which is my reference angle. When I do this, I get 309.231 degrees. These are all degrees. Therefore, my solution here, my theta, is going to be 50.769 degrees, 129.231 degrees, uh, 230.769 degrees, and 309.231 degrees. And those are my four answers to this solution. So, still not terribly bad. Just adding a couple new wrinkles. You know, having to think when you have the reciprocals, just write it as one over tangent or one over sine or one over cosine and flip both sides before you take any square roots or anything else like that. And then kind of do your square roots. Find your reference angles. Use your reference angles to find your answers within the interval. Make sure you're either giving me radians or degrees based on the interval. Not that bad, but a lot to remember. Hi, I'm Mr. Buzzman. These videos are supplemental instruction for my students. If you found the video enjoyable, make sure you click the like button and click subscribe, as well as the bell for notifications to receive future videos on high school mathematics. <laughs>